The door opened and Sesqui walked in. Scared, are you, Jack? You're keeping that certain limits and you're safe. He gave me a big warm smile. Don't go do something foolish, Jack. Just stay foolish. Which immediately erased the offense of being called the new uh, boy. That is a tough fight for my life. I know what that's all about. But I've all been with myself. I mean, I've always been smart enough to see all that. All that kind of crap. Sure, I've seen some rumors go by. I've been laid up on a few. Some guy crying, I ain't climbing up no wooden cross, kicking everybody in the face. Killed off at 33. I just stood there Doesn't watching. Doesn't need to fall for that shit, Jack. I, I've been screwed too many times too many times on the way up to take it on the top. Right, Jack? And you're not going to be the sick kicker who tags after me with the knives, either. Get it? Or you'll get in the face with the outside of the swinging door. You follow me, Jack? Man is an evolutionary failure, Jack. That's all there is to it. You're an evolutionary failure. Do you know any vampire stories, Jack? I guess he was telling some kind of ghost story. He was using the twilight to get to me, so I just shut yeah. down a little more. I've never heard that spook stuff before. What are you driving at? We used to do this to each other back on our bunk beds when we were kids. My brothers and sisters. The difference was that we trusted each other. We were just having a good time feeling the fear crawl up our backbones, but this guy Sesqui was in it for something else. You're just four inches away from me, Jack! Don't fuck around around here! I was pretty completely depressed with all of it, and I just lay there until noon when Lester came in to tell me about my work schedule. For the next couple of months on into the winter, I kept the kennel. At some point in my captivity, I decided to make a break. I knew it was probably suicidal, so I kept delaying it until I got that desperate. The night I made a try, I wasn't even thinking about it. An hour or so before sunset, I let Cuba out and followed her into the woods. Oh, 
We came into the maple from an unfamiliar direction. I saw a sugar shack. I didn't see any taps on the trees, but there was smoke coming from the chimney. <laughs> 